Welcome back. Let's talk about arrays now. So I'll go an array is a list of variables. So if I was to make a variable, say int var1, set it equal to 5, that's just one variable. An array stores multiple variables, and it can store as many as you like. So the syntax is going to be like this. And this array will have three different variables stored in the array. And that right here, this is how we know how many actual variables are in the array. And these are the values that are stored in the array. And we can see those by printing it out to the screen. Oops, I usually make that mistake. All right, this is the name of the array. So just like a variable, just like variable int var equals 5 has a name, a variable also has a name, uh, and that name is this. Now when you when you use a variable, you always have to put these kind of square brackets behind it. So this is an example of using a variable right here. So uh, let's go ahead and since there's three actual values stored in the array, I'm going to print them. I'm going to print all three of them out. So, you know, this could be, I mean, we could change. These are just variables, whatever we set it to. So this, oh, and also um, arrays, well, computers in general start counting at zero. Um, so they go zero, one, two, three. So this is, you know, zero, this is one, and this is two. Now, hopefully this doesn't confuse you, but this is one, two, and three for, sorry, this is zero, one, and two, and it's a total of three slots. So that's why it's three. And my cat's back. Okay, so let's print this out. I don't know why my computer takes so long to compile the very first time. Didn't used to. But you can see, uh, okay, so this is value uh, 0 in the array, this is value 1 in the array, and this is value 2 in the array. So it's not complicated. An array is simply a list of variables. Uh, if you understand what a variable is, hopefully you can understand what multiple variables being stored in kind of one little container. So you can, uh, you can add arrays. So let's go... Um, uh, int total just for convenience equals an array say zero plus an array one and if we were to print this out We could go like this and print that out to the screen. You can see int array 0 and int array 1. Uh, if you add them together, it's 10 plus 12 equals 22. So you can work with arrays just like you can work with any, any other variable. Alright, uh, next I'll cover multi-dimensional arrays. Thank you for watching.